Hello and welcome to Linux and YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can use the string copy function in the C programming language. So let's talk about the string copy function. The string copy function allows users or programmers to copy values from one variable to another variable. Now this function is included in the string.h library. So to use this function, you need to include the library string.h in your C programming file. So let's talk about the syntax of the string copy function. So the syntax of the string copy function is being displayed to you. We have the return type character and then we have the keyword strcpy which stands for string copy. And for the arguments or parameters, the first parameter is of character data type which is the destination. And for the second parameter, we have another character data type which is the source. So what this function does is that it takes the string from the source and places it inside the destination. Remember, it does not move the values, it copies the values from the source and duplicates it inside the destination. Now you may think why do you even need this function? So let's take a look at this code. So we have a character data type variable ch and I'm going to give it some value as Google. If I try printing it out to the screen using the puts function, we'll have no issues. But now if I try to declare the variable first, and then give it some values, we are going to be met with errors. And the error is assignment to the expression with the array type. So what happens is that there is no string data type in the C programming language because C follows its predecessor which is the B programming language. So a formal string data type was never incorporated in the C programming language. And because of that, we use a trick to store string values which is to use character arrays rather than string data type. So when you define an array, or character array you can assign a string value to it but just like we saw if we declare an array and then try to give it value in some other line we will be met with errors so in cases where you want to take inputs from the user you normally want to declare the variable first and then store the input from the user inside that variable so to get over that situation we use the string copy function looking at our current situation we use the string copy function and remember we need to include the library which was the string dot h. So for the destination, I'm going to choose the variable ch and for the second argument, I'm going to pass on my string, which was Google. And since we are declaring the variable first and then initializing a value, I need to assign a size to it as well. And there you go. Our issue has been completely resolved. Now this string copy function can also be used to duplicate strings from one variable to another variable. So for that, let's strike an example where I'm going to create a string value and I'm going to create another variable. I'm going to call it str. Now I want to copy this value from the ch variable to the string variable. I'll again use the string copy function. For the destination, it's going to be str. And for the source, it's going to be ch. And I'm going to print out the values of the string variable. So if I run this program, I should be able to see Google. Let's change this value actually. Let's do something like hello, I am a sentence. So if I run this program now, as you can see that this value was copied from the ch variable to the string variable. And that was all for using the string copy function in the C programming language.